Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back on Maypole Farm for another episode of our Rags to Riches series. Part number 7, I believe we're up to. Um, we've got a couple of harvesting jobs to do today. I'm not sure if we're going to get them all done in the one episode, but we'll see how we go. So we've got field 48 and field 21. It's 48 up the top here, 21 down the bottom. Um, we'll see how we go with getting them all done in the one episode. I've only got a four meter width header. Um, I can't remember what our other header was, width wise. The same? Yep, both the same. So both four meters. So it may take us a little while to get through it. I feel like our harvester needs to be repaired a little bit as well. So we're either going to have to maybe look at getting like a mobile repair trailer or we're going to have to go for a run to the shop and um, start repairing that way. I think the sound is really quiet for me. I don't know if it's quiet for you guys. I'll just turn my headset up that little bit. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Hopefully um, it's coming through alright for you guys, but it's a decent sized field. Um, what are we? Field 48, which is nearly a hectare. So... I'm still at the moment going with the $10,000 per hectare for harvesting 5000 for uh, cultivating, seeding, ploughing, all that sort of thing and 2000 per hectare for our spraying jobs and that sort of thing. So if you guys like that, let me know. If you guys think we need to get paid a bit less or a bit more, you know, also let me know as well. Sort of having a bit of a look through, there's not many spraying jobs at the moment. A lot more harvesting and weeding and cultivating. There's no spraying at all, actually, so it's a bit of a shame. So that's where we're going to make um, pretty quick money, I think, especially with the new sprayer that we've picked up. We're going to have to get another one of those trucks for our uh, weed spraying, so... Try and get a decent screenshot here somewhere. Yeah, it took three, just in case. I hope that one of those is half decent. Sort of went off track there a little bit, but... Yeah, so this episode we're going to harvest the corn here, um, and then we have to head down to field 21 and do the sunflowers down there. Um, that's going to be the plan. I don't know if we'll get them all done in the one episode, but... We'll see how we go for time. Um, I could probably get halfway through this field maybe um, and then maybe time lapse the rest of it and then come back when we're sort of nearly finished the other field down the bottom. That's a possibility as well. Oop, oh, wrong button again. Meant to hit the camera view. I feel like we're still way too close to the steering wheel. We should be like a lot further back. I'd like to be able to use this view. I just don't feel like the view is um, as good as it should be inside the cab there. So I'd say there's going to be a couple of runs to dump off all the corn from this field. Let's have a look at um, uh, it's not fertilized at all. Wow, okay. So double yield is still turned off, so I'm not quite sure why we're getting so much out of it, but certainly getting a fair bit. Um, if I can get this guy straight like that, we might have a look at um, Fort Schritt. Where are we? There we go. So we've got um, some new mods, I think, this one. The 9 meter wide planter, that looks like more than 9 meters to me. Um, it's pretty good, a new one. Um, what else did we get that was new? Um, a tanker, like a fuel tanker. That's new as well. I think they're the only two new Fort Street mods that we've got at the moment. Um, I think... 
I said nine meters wide. It just, I think that's way too much. I really do. Um, the only other thing that I'd like to see is this guy, the diesel thing, to be able to fix our stuff too, because that looks really old school and it looks really cool actually. Um, and I think that was that was it as far as the new mods I've got for this map or this playthrough compared to our last episode. So I might go through until we've got um, another, like a pretty much a full harvest load. So by the time we get back up to our truck up there, and then I might time lapse the rest. And on our run back down to field 21, I might stop in at the shop just so we can repair our equipment. Of course, I'd much rather be able to repair it ourselves, but we don't have anywhere to repair it at the moment. See, the animation on that corn header is really good. Very, very good animation there. I do love these old school mods. As much as I like using the bigger equipment um, and John Deere stuff and, you know, all that sort of stuff, I really, really love the old school farming equipment, especially for maps like this in our Rags to Riches series. And I don't think we're ever going to get... Even if we do get enough money, I don't think we're ever going to buy, like, a brand new John Deere or whatever. We're always going to sort of stay with our old school little farming equipment, but try and upgrade as we go. So it's still not going to be brand new, you know, 2018, 2019 sort of equipment. It's still going to be used, but it's just going to be a little bit better than our current stuff. Obviously with our harvesters, you know, our our next harvester that we've got to sort of go for is um, the, the Potop, CK Potop. Uh, speed, 20 kilometers an hour. It's actually slower than this guy, but a little bit bigger capacity, and I think it's a little bit newer, so that'll be maybe something we aim for. We're going to have a quick look at, uh, where's our equipment? Uh, so yeah, 65% for this harvester. That's why he's going pretty slow, I think. Alright, so I might bring this arm out. We really need like a field service trailer. That always sounds terrible when it shuts down. This one sounds... Just as bad starting up, I suppose. Oh, so I'll unload to there. Jump back into this guy because we're gonna do another run, and then we'll unload it to him, and then he can go and tip off and come back. But um, right here, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll um, do a bit of a time lapse here, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.
Righto guys, we're back. So we have to finish off field 21. Um, I did look at it, this field's cheaper than field 42. There are a few fields cheaper than field 42. 68,000, uh, there was one down here. Oop. Go, uh, 70,000, 46,000. So we could have possibly, there's that noisy thing again, we could have possibly brought a field already, but um, I think field 42 definitely still be the one we go with. Um, at the moment, it's got a withered crop on it, so there's really not much we can do with it. So 74,000, so that one's only 46. Uh, 57, it's 153, 98, even that one there, 39,000. Tiny field though, but I think field 42, 41, be pretty good. Is that empty? Oh, it is. I thought we were going to have a little bit left over, but we don't. Beautiful. So once we tip this off, and, um, Complete our contract and also sell a little bit left over. We should have enough to purchase that field down there. So we're on our way to becoming rich. Hopefully. So another job done, field 21. As I said, the field up there has absolutely nothing on it. Um, it's withered, so we're going to have to find something to plant there. At least we know once we get there, we'll be able to go and. Um, like mow around the outside to at least get some grass. We got left here, aren't we? Yep. To get some grass and stuff to be able to sell a little bit of grass. Obviously, once we get something to pick it up with, but so we'll be able to make a little bit of money off the grass. The grass here is still sitting there waiting to be picked up. We just need to get um, approval from the landowner that we're obviously borrowing little bit of a place for us to store our equipment approval from him to be able to pick it up and sell it or use it whatever you may want to do with it but that means we we'll have to come back and mow that again for him we're no longer required the use of his area so he can either now mow it himself or not mow it at all it will completely be up to him Unload our sunflowers. It's just started to grow again. 68,000. Let's complete our contract. 76, 730. So now we can go field 42, buy. Yes, now we do own our own field. So I think we have obviously our tractor here. We have um, a cultivator there, but we don't have a cedar as yet. So we're definitely going to have to pick up a cedar at some stage. Oh, I'll shut that down. I don't think we have any uh, really modded cedars. We've got that one or this one. That's 31,000. It's very expensive. Um, you might have to even just buy one of these for now, but I'd rather go with this guy but I said we don't have anything modded wise yet that um, is cheap and suitable so if you look at the field um, does it need to be it doesn't need to be plowed or anything so it needs to be cultivated so what we can do is run over grab our tractor very weird sounding tractor we'll um ugh. Terrible sounding tractor. Go and pick up our cultivator and we'll take it down there. But then at least we can have a look at the new plot of land. We should be able to cultivate it as well our next episode and then work out um we'll work out what we're gonna do as far as seeding goes. Um obviously thirty one thousand dollar seeder is way too much. I don't want to go leasing any equipment, so we might need to wait for another um, cheap cedar to come out, I think. I think this, um, this cultivator is definitely a good buy, I feel. So 
So I think, uh, where's our cultivators? I think that was the only one. I oh, know there's a four shot. Fortrite one there as well. Um, we do have a Fortrite play out. It's only one and a half meter play out though, so it is bloody tiny. A very, very tiny play out, unfortunately. Um, so we need to go with that one or go with the one that's a little bit bigger. Around about the same price, because we're going to have to obviously play out the land at some stage. Don't have to do it right now, but um, we will have to. We bring up our map again, just keep a close eye on it. So it's just past the shop on the left. We've got a big field 40 here. We'll have our field 41 and our field 42. Um, unfortunately, we can't get rid of these hedges to be able to join like our field 41 and 42 together. Um, the other option we have is we possibly could. Let's field 40. Field 41 just on our left, and field 42 is right next to it. We may have. Um, go into here. We may have some trees. There we go. Some trees we may be able to cut down and make a little bit of money out of as well. Right, so as I said, this one, this is completely gone, so we will be able to cultivate it. And um, replace that with something later on. It's just a matter of working out what. So we can cut these trees down. They're going to be a bit of a pain because of the way they are, but if we want to, we can cut them down and get rid of them. We just need a way to transport them as well. So it's owned by us. It's barley. It's withered. Um... So yeah, that's done. So we're going to have to bring all of our equipment back over to here somewhere. So obviously these trees here, we can sort of use this as our little storage area just to put our our stuff underneath it. Um, I think I do have really cheap, yeah, there we go, 1850, a small shelter, which, uh, where are we? Not this one, this one. I mean, it may fit under there somewhere, so obviously if we can get rid of these trees, we can run some shelters along here. I don't know um, how much we'll be able to fit under there, but that's a possibility as well. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you should, we should plant here. Should we do grass? Should we do some crops? You know, you guys let me know what you think we should do. Um, off camera, I'll bring all the equipment down to here. And um, next episode, we might have to do a couple more jobs so we can still well, cultivate here, but do a couple more jobs so we can get a cedar and start planting and start making some of our own money. Money for us now. Alrighty, guys. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.